And we're also following some breaking news for you from Metairie. We're learning that Jefferson Parish Sheriff's deputies are now searching some of the local streets there for drugs. A very interesting developing story that Jennifer Crockett has been following for us now for the past hour. She joins us now with the very latest. Jennifer. This started about 730 this morning when a neighbor at this Metairie Lakefront neighborhood says she opened her front door to find baggies of pills and a white substance on her stoop. That brought Jefferson Parish Sheriff's deputies out to scour the streets. Take a look. The Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office says these are likely drugs tossed during a police pursuit that happened last night. The Sheriff's Office says a 13 year old girl called 911 for help, saying that her father was threatening to slam her to the ground and had been choking her eight year old brother. She asked deputies to track her phone, saying that her dad was forcing them into his car. The deputies did just that and were able to locate the car in Marrero. Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office says they tried to stop the car then and that's whenever the pursuit started. They said deputies did see the man tossing drugs out of his car. He has since been arrested. Let's hear now from the neighbor who found some of those drugs this morning. It's crazy. Very shocking. I at first was concerned that someone was at my door, but then my um, I, we were walking the Yorkies and um, one of the dogs smelled another bag and so far we've found four other bags of looks like um, heroin and blood. And the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Department tells me that that 13 year old girl who called police asking for help did stay on the phone with 911 during the whole pursuit. They said she was screaming the whole time. Both kids trying to get out of the car as that pursuit was going on. They want to stress that this 20 minute pursuit stretched all the way from Marrero to Lake and Hesmer, where the suspect rammed into a Jefferson Parish Sheriff's unit and a West Wego cop car. So they say there could be bags of drugs scattered all along the way. They want you to know that if you find something that looks like the pictures we just showed you, do not touch it. They say the drugs can leach through the bag and they want to preserve it as evidence. So they say if you see anything like that, to call 911. I'm also told that both kids are okay this morning and they're with family. Reporting live in Metairie, I'm John.